News. A former paramedic found guilty in the death of Elijah McLean will spend the next five years behind bars. A judge sentenced Peter Chikuniak in an Adams County courtroom just moments ago. A jury convicted him of criminally negligent homicide as well as assault after he and another paramedic injected McLean with a lethal dose of ketamine the night he was detained. We want to get right to Denver 7's Rob Harris, who was inside that courtroom for the sentencing. He joins us live now with the very latest. Rob. Yeah, and so Jason, the important thing to understand here is those five years constitute the minimum sentence allowed in this case. The judge said he was weighing a bunch of different factors, including the possibility of recommitting safety to the uh, community and so forth. But this sentence came after about 90 minutes of statements from uh, those who knew both Chikuniak and McLean, most for Chikuniak. They included his immediate family, co-workers, um, both current and uh, previous, all testifying to his character and what they said were his moments of showing heroism in his job and care for the community around him. Chikuniak himself also testified, as did Elijah McLean's mother, Shanine McLean. Take a listen. The point I'm making is that they want to blame their inhuman actions on their inhuman training. But reality is that they could have done something simply by just saying, stop hurting my patient. And I wish more than anything that we had a better outcome that night. If I could go back and make changes that I knew would save, would save Elijah's life, I would. So Chikuniak has been in the Adams County Jail for the last 70 days. He will get credit for that time with his now uh, the sentence that was just handed down. The judge said that Chikuniak has 49 days to appeal this sentencing and has 126 days to ask this court to reconsider the sentencing. Jason. Again, five years in prison for that, that single Aurora paramedic. He did face a maximum of 16 years in prison for that assault charge.